What's up everybody, Jason Yadlovsky here. I make videos about DaVinci Resolve, and if you just got started in Resolve, you probably wanna know, how do I add text onto my videos? So we're gonna talk about the easiest way to do that, how you can make it a little bit more interesting, and then how you can get real fancy if you're interested in doing that too. So let's jump in Resolve and learn how to add some text. So how in the world do we add some text here in DaVinci Resolve? So I am in the Edit tab. Make sure you're in the Edit tab right here. And if your interface looks a little bit different than mine, go ahead and click on Workspace. Reset UI layout, and you're going to be looking at the same thing that I'm looking at. So let's add some basic text. All we have to do is come up here to our effects library. I'm going to open that up, and you might have your media pool open here. You can close that if you want. I'm going to come down underneath toolbox here. If this little arrow isn't open, you can click it open, and we have titles. And right here, we have basic title. So let's grab this guy. All you have to do is click, hold, and drag it down in your timeline, let go, and boom, there you go. You've got some text in your timeline. So now how do we work with this text a little bit? Well, we can move our playhead over the text, select our text, and we want to come up to the inspector, which is right up here at the top right. Once you open that up, you've got video here and title. Now we can adjust our title right here and make it say whatever we want. Surface rising. Now we can change the font if we'd like. We can click right here, drop down and choose any font that you'd like. You've got all kinds, anything that's on your system you can pick. I like this guy right here. You can change the font face if you want it bold or italic or thin or however you might want it. Let's go like, man, that's kind of cool. We can change the size of it, make it bigger. We can change the tracking. And a cool little tip here, you can grab the little slider like I'm doing, or if you hover your mouse over top of any of these categories over here, you can click hold and drag and it's gonna allow you to be a little more precise with your adjustments. You can also change a whole bunch of other parameters just like you can with text in any other program, your, your alignment, uh, your anchor points, things like that. You can change that here as well. Now we do get a couple of cool features if we continue to scroll down in the inspector here. We have things like stroke, drop shadow. So for example, let's say I wanna add a drop shadow in here. If I come to my offset, I can just shift it over a little bit, shift it down a little bit. And it's a little hard to see here. So let's change the color and just make it something that's easy to see like red. Boom, you can blur it more, you can blur it less. You can change the opacity of it. And if we even make the text thicker so it's easier to see, semi bold. And you can move this around anywhere that you like by adjusting these little guys right here. You can also keyframe it and make it move if you want, but we'll get into that in another video. You can also add a background to it if you'd like. Right here, we've got background. And by default, the height is set to zero. So if you just start to rise this, raise this up a little bit, it'll add a nice little background in there. You can change the color. You can change the outline of the background if you want. And let's just say maybe I make this something a little brighter so we can see it. Let's make it a yellow. You can adjust the width of it so it's a little bit wider. You can change the corners to give a little radius to the corners there. Real quick and easy to add some simple effects to your text here. And scrolling up, you can even add a stroke in here if you wanted to. Uh, so let's say add a black line around your text. You can do this and bring in the stroke. You can make it as big or as small as you want. So really cool. Basic text. You can do a couple really cool things here with it. And let's say maybe you wanted to move it around screen a little bit. How do we move our text around? Well, you can come up to the settings tab right here. And then you can adjust the position, your X and your Y position. Move it down a little. Move it up a little. You can even animate it with keyframes, which we'll talk about that in another video. Or if you wanna be able to just visually move it around, check this out. If you come over by your viewer right here at the bottom right, click this little drop down. you've got transform. If I turn that on, use my mouse wheel to zoom out a little, now I can grab this and just resize it to whatever I want. I can also rotate it around if I want, put it up over here. And there you go, that's basic text that you can pop on your video and just make a couple quick changes there and have it look pretty good. Now, there are a whole bunch of other cool text options here of animated things under Fusion Titles here that we can add in. And if I hover over it, it's gonna give me a little preview in my viewer of what that text is gonna do. So you don't have to drop it on your timeline just to see what the text is gonna do. It's really cool to be able to kind of preview it and just determine, is it something that I wanna use or do I wanna try something different? So let's say maybe you wanted to get a little more fancy with your text. How do we do that easily, right? And the point is easily here because you're just getting started in Resolve, so we want it to be easy. Come and grab your text plus. If I come and I drop this on top of this clip over here, now we can see we've got custom title. Now the difference between text plus and the basic text is just that you've got more options with the text plus to make it interesting, different, fun, and just kind of customize it a little bit more. So if I select my text plus, Again, come back to my inspector. We're gonna click on the title section here. I'm gonna change my title. We're gonna call it surfacing. I'm gonna pick a different font and we'll just adjust it a little bit here to make it look a little bit different. 
Now, when we're using the text plus, you notice we've got other options up here, layout, transform, shading, image settings. So if we just go to the layout tab here, you can adjust the layout, you can adjust the rotation here by different ways, you can have it spin, you can keyframe all this stuff if you wanted to make an animation. But if you just wanted it to be, you know, maybe like this, you can leave it like that. You can add a background here, which will color the whole background of the entire clip. And if we come to transform, we can change the characters on a character level, we can change the words, the lines, change the spacing of them. We have a lot of different options of things that you can customize here in this menu. We can also go to shading and under shading here, we've got different presets. You can think of this as kind of like presets. So right now we're on number one here and we have solid fill enabled. Well, if we select number two here and we enable that, we can come down here and change things. Like, so you can see now it added a red outline there. We can change that. We can add solid background behind the letters if we want. We can extend it vertically. We can extend it horizontally. We can round them out. You can change the opacity of it. There is just a ton of options here on how you can customize it and just make it look really cool. You can have it sheer a little bit. Maybe you want to have them zigzagged a little bit. Maybe you want to have your text be italic or something. You've got a lot of options here on how you can customize that text and make it look pretty cool. And you've got up to eight different presets that you can apply here. And there's a couple of things that are already put in there. I mean, you just have to enable them but you can also make your own. So that's two ways you can add some basic text and some a little bit fancier text here in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you wanna get even more fancy, you can check out today's sponsor and that is Motion Array. If you take a look on their website, they've got a ton of awesome titles and text and different kinds of things that you can use for your videos. I love Motion Array, I've been using them for a long time. They've got a ton of great stuff here. Just look at some of the call outs here that are great. I mean, you can use them on any video. You want something a little more cartoony. They've got dynamic titles and things like that. There's just so much stuff that you can do here in Motion Array and so many assets that you can use. It's great, I love Motion Array. So if you want something fancy, but you don't wanna spend the time doing all the work to create it, check out Motion Array. And thank you Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. So that is adding text here in DaVinci Resolve in a nutshell. If you have other questions, leave a comment down below. I'm happy to help you out. And uh, be sure to check out more videos that I'm gonna have coming out in this beginner series here on just things that you need to know that you have questions on when you're getting started in Resolve. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.